All right, well today is the day. So, as many of you don't probably realize, there probably isn't anybody that works on more Sniper Terminator X stuff than me. Uh, I believe last year we probably got, if I look back, I think I, I, there were somewhere over 40 cars in here in the last 12 months. Uh, a lot of them get sent to us from Holly. Uh, if you call and you scream at the tech guy enough, they'll find somebody maybe in your area. We are a Holly dealer, but we're also an installation center, uh, authorized installation center. And so, you know, the Holly, the, the Holly tech guy will be like, hey, you know, we got a guy, you know, in your area or whatever. And they, they send us, you know, probably a third of those. So I'd say probably maybe a dozen or so people sent to us from Holly. And so we won't sell a sniper and I don't install snipers. And the reason why is the inherent issues with these things, they all have the same issues. It's not, you know, a few of them. I've never had one that seemed to run long-term forever. It's done, it's good. You know, kind of like the Holly HP and the Dominator stuff where, you know, my personal car, I put an HP system on my personal Camaro. 2012 and it, it, it never cracked out or stopped working or really had any issues or anything. So, you know, a lot of it has to do with meeting price points and, and stuff. So, anyways, this is the first time I've actually seen a Holly Sniper 2. So, Well, my first impression of it is it looks like one of the, the small, like 390 CFM holly carburetors. It's kind of got the short little bowls looking things on it. Um, actually goes on the engine here, it's the throttle cable side, which would be the driver's side. Um, they've moved the, the, the ECU from in the front to here. So if you have a Ford um, before, the distributor was right here and it would just make these things run all wonky and do stupid shit. Literally had a, a, a local shop that we deal with um, and we talked about electrical noise screwing the, the, the snipers up and I said, hey, here's a trick that, that you know I was told to do is take a piece of sheet metal, ground it, stick it between the ECU and the distributor and that'll block any electrical noise. And, and so he's got this thing, it's running and it's running off rough and crappy. And, and he sticks this, this grounded piece of sheet metal between the, the, the distributor and the ECU, smooths out 100%. So electrical noise um, generally causes the idle air control motor to do wonky things. And so the next biggest issue on these things really is the secondaries hanging up. So if you have a sniper and, and you're driving it, you pull up to a stop sign and it hangs up and it's, it's idling at like 2000 RPMs and your TPS is at zero, it's because the actual, the primaries have returned to, to you know, their closed position, their, their set position, but the secondaries in fact here are hanging up and you know, we've done things like put return springs and there's people that say, oh, I put another winding on this little spring. This little spring here. Um, I, I, I haven't been, I, I think that's too tight on the, on the spring thing. Um, but putting a return spring on there has helped. Um, I think one time we actually took the throttle blades out and, and kind of sanded them a little bit to make them not hang up. Uh, but you gotta be careful taking these screws out. They will break off when you're totally screwed. Yeah. So, anyways, um, first impression is, I mean, it looks okay. I think Holly's put a lot into making this right. I think they've totally effed uh, the million people that have bought the original Sniper, because it is a piece of shit. And like I said, we won't sell it. I won't install it. When it works, it works great. And we've tuned them and, and got them to run really well. And that's one of the things that, that, you know, hey, find somebody to tune yours. 
we found that the, these things come set way, the preset settings on the handheld are way too rich. The timing, if you're controlling timing, isn't, isn't optimal. You need to find out what range your engine idles at, what range it cruises at, and obviously wide open throttle is, you know, is the same for most engines at that, that, you know, 100 kPa, 90 something kPa for a, an NA motor. So anyway, so we end up getting this one pre-wired. Here's the harness, and this looks a little bit different than the uh, typical snipers do because we got this one with the P, uh, the PDM, the power distribution module, which is right here, I believe. Um, so I think, the, from what I understand from from the folks at Holly, is this has been done because it has noise filtering in it and it basically makes sure that you ensures that you have clean connections because that's one of the problems with with aftermarket EFI on old cars is if you have a noisy alternator um, or a bad electrical system bad grounds and different things it, it, you're going to be chasing issues and problems um, all over the place and, and modern cars to be honest with you as they get older they have these problems too um, so anyways what this does is it, 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 it the likelihood of, uh, of having dirty connections, you know, uh, are lessened. Um, it also has built-in uh, electronic relays, which is super cool. Um, unfortunately, it only does one cooling fan. So if you want to run two cooling fans, you have to run an output to another relay, um, which the sniper will still control it on and off, but it's not controlled by this box. You still have to run another relay. But if you do want to run just a single fan, it's all built into here. You don't have to run a relay. You just run it directly to your fan. So for a lot of people, that, that, that's, a, that's a pretty cool um, bonus. Um, what else we got here? Oh, we just got the miscellaneous rest of the, the ship. We got the handheld. Um, and by all means, do not use the super clamp on O2 sensor thing. This thing, just weld the bung on there. Um, it'd be nice if they actually came, we're gonna check and see if they came with both, but they apparently they don't. Um, so anyways, we are going to get the opportunity to, to install this. We actually have the uh, HyperSpark set up for a Mopar. Um, it's going on a 440. Um, so anyways, we'll, 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 we'll get it all installed and set up. We really wanted the opportunity to, to test all these pieces in conjunction with one another. Um, and so, um, yeah, anyways, we'll play around with these, this thing and we'll give you our honest opinion. So far, I mean, I really can't say, you know, there's a lot of companies that make these units out there. Um, there's that, that Aces or whatever. And, you know, they claim that their stuff's really good. And I said, hey, man, I work on these things all the time. Send us one and let us, let us play around with one. And they're like, uh, no way, man. We can't just send you one. So, um, Holly, they didn't send us this. Uh, I'm a dealer. Customer paid for this. Um, we actually worked a deal with Holly to send their sniper back because it, this poor guy, his things never worked right. So we're get, we didn't install it though, so we're gonna install this one. Uh, we're gonna set it all up. Uh, we're, so we're gonna give this thing a, a good honest test. Holly didn't pay us to do this. Holly didn't, didn't really give us this thing or anything like that. I noticed that you know, they gave out you know, to all these people that have you know, hundreds of thousands of, of you know, social media followers. They gave them one, you know, these bunch of yahoos and whatever, but the people that are actually selling their products and, and servicing their products, you know, Holly doesn't give two shits about us. So anyway, so I'm gonna give you my honest opinion on this thing. If it's a piece of shit, I'm gonna call it as a piece of shit because I'll tell you what, the old sniper is a piece of shit, 100%. Like I said, I, I won't sell them to you, I won't install them. And by the way, if we like this thing and you wanna buy one of these from us, um, it's for your 57 Chevy, okay? Um, you know, because, where's it at? Here we go. Because of that, it says right here, 
This part is legal for use on uncontrolled, non-emission controlled vehicles or racing vehicles. The following vehicles are considered uncontrolled, non-emission controlled vehicles. 1965 and older U.S. manufactured California certified vehicles. 67 and older manufactured federally vehicles. Or 67 and older foreign vehicles. So again, for your 57 Chevy. Anyways, so we'll come back at you guys again here real quick with uh, an update on the install and, and, and you know, what we think. And then, uh, you know, down the road, we'll do like a long-term, you know, maybe three month deal because we've never had one of these that seems to go any appreciable period of time without doing something stupid. Uh, and by stupid, I mean, you know, one day it's running great, next day you fire it up or a week later you fire it up and it, it barely idles and it's doing kind of, crazy things. We've had ones that just constantly kill O2 sensors. Um, and, and what a lot of it is, is Holly's trying to meet a price point with these things. And so, you know, they're selling you, you know, a, a, a Bosch O2 sensor that they pay probably, you know, $8 for it. And it's probably not even a, a Bosch, you know. Um, they're selling you, you know, cheap sensors, TPS sensors, IAC sensors. But one of the things is they're not spending the money to put the noise filtering into the ECU on these things. And that's really the shortfall. And we've seen that with the Terminator X. I've never really got a Terminator X to work very well with a drive-by-wire throttle body. I always use a cable on those things. And I think it's, it's noise filtering. Um, the nice thing about the Terminator X ECU is you can remote mount it. You, well, you have to remote. You can't mount it under the hood. So you can mount it inside the car. Hopefully it's away from anything that would create any electrical noise. So anyways, we'll come back at you and uh, give you an honest review on this thing and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. Hey, by the way, like, subscribe, do all that stuff, man. We appreciate it. Thanks for watching.